Okay, in this uh, video we will discuss continuity of a function at some point x is equals to a, it could be any point. So a function is continuous at x is equals to a if the function is defined at that point, which means it does not give you 1 over 0, which is infinity, right? And the second is that that value of f of a is the same as the limiting value of x approaches to a f of x. So in some other words, we can say that if you're given a function of this type, that above is a polynomial and below is a polynomial, then function f is discontinuous at the x values where this, p, this q of x is equals to 0. So in from question 33 to 48, they're asking you to find out the discontinuity uh, of these given functions uh, if they exist, and if they exist, and what are those x values at which the discontinuity is there. So if you look at this function, this is a polynomial, and all the polynomials are continuous. So in this one, you cannot find any x value which would give you something divided by zero. So there is no discontinuity for this function. So in fact for all polynomials you don't have a discontinuity. If we look at this function we can see that the discontinuity is at, so you can write that the discontinuity um, exist and they are when this denominator is zero. So it means x is equals to minus two is the point where the function is discontinuous. If you look at 35, the function is given as x power four over five, which we can write as one over five x power four, which is again a polynomial. So it has no discontinuity in it. It's uh, continuous everywhere. And if you look at question number 36, that question says that 3x squared x plus 5. So again, we can see that the discontinuity is when this value is, the q of x is equals to 0. So the discontinuity is when x plus 5 is equals to 0 which means x is equals to minus 5. So we have a discontinuity when x is equals to minus 5. Question number 37 says that f of x is equals to 1 over 8 minus 2x. So again, the discontinuous, di discontinuity is at 8 minus 2x is equals to 0. When you simply uh, do the arithmetics, you get x is equals to 4, which means the discontinuity is at x is equals to 4. The 38th question is a mod or absolute of x, which always is always a continuous function, so it has no discontinuity in it. In this example, in this question, you have the function of this one, the discontinuity is when the denominator is equal to zero. Now you can factorize them, you can use the quadratic formula, whichever you like. So you can use that by first and last rule, so you can say that plus 7x minus 3x minus 21 is equal to zero, x is common, x plus 7 minus 3 is common, x plus 7 is equals to 0, x plus 7 is common, so x minus 3 is left is equals to 0, x plus 7 is 0, and x minus 3 is 0, which means x is equals to minus 7, and x is equals to 3. So we have discontinuity at two points, x is equals to minus 7, and x is equals to 3. In this question, you have given x minus 2 divided by x squared minus 8, so the discontinuity would be when the denominator is equal to 0, we put the denominator equals to 0. x is common in both of them, so we, if you take x common, left is x here, left minus 8 is equal to 0. This means x is equal to 0 or x minus 8 is equal to 0. So if we solve this, x is equal to 8. So we have two points at which uh, the function is discontinuous. If you look at this one, again, the discontinuity would be when x cubed minus x squared minus 6 is equal to 0 x is common in all of them, so we are left with this one. So this means x is equal to 0 and x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. 
by the midterm break or the first and last rule we can uh, simplify this one so x square and that would be uh, minus 2x plus 3x minus 6 is equal to 0 x is common so x minus 2 is left 3 is common so x minus 2 is left x minus 2 is common so x plus 3 is left x minus 2 is 0 and x plus 3 is equal to 0 which means x is equal to 2 and x is equal to minus 3 so we have 3 x values at which the function is discontinuous sorry there is a little bit mistake uh, we have minus 3 and plus so that would be minus 3 that is plus that becomes plus that becomes plus and that becomes minus so that is plus that is minus that becomes plus and that becomes minus because if you multiply 2 and 3 this gives you minus 6 and if you add them this can give you minus x so that is 2x minus 3x so the question number 42 and 43 are almost the same so i'll just solve the question number 44 which is a little bit different you can write this as 4 over x into 18 plus 3s minus x square so the discontinuity is when this term is equals to 0 x into 18 plus 3x minus x square is equals to 0 this means this is equals to 0 or 18 plus 3s minus x square is equals to 0 you can multiply this by a negative and this would becomes now you can factorize them x square <coughs> so 18 is uh, so that gives you 3 uh, 6 3's are 18 so minus 6x plus 3x minus 18 is equal to 0 if I take x common x minus 6 and if I take 3 common x minus 6 is equal to 0 so x minus 6 is common x plus 3 is equal to 0 x minus 6 is 0 and x plus 3 is 0 which means x is equal to 6 x is equal to minus 3 and x is equal to 0 these are the three points where the function is discontinuous question number 45 and 46 are the same kind of similar so i'll just solve the 46 one so the discontinuity are you can so this is the general form so you can simplify this into this x square minus 16. now the function is discontinuous when the denominator is zero so 3 minus x and x square minus 16 is equal to 0 which means 3 minus x is equal to 0 and x square minus 16 is equal to 0 so minus x is equal to minus 3 and we can put x square is equal to 16 if you multiply by a negative x is equal to 3 and if you take the square root of this one is plus minus 4 so we have three points x is equal to 3 x is equal to plus 4 and x is equal to minus 4 are the three points where the function is discontinued. Question number 48 is exactly the same as 46 and 45, so I'll just solve question number 47. The denominator, if that is equal to 0, or at those points the function is discontinuous. x is common, so you x cubed minus 27, which means x is equal to 0 and x cubed minus 27 is equal to 0 which means x cubed is equal to 27 so one point is this one the second is this one we can write this as 3 cube if you take the cubic root on both sides this is equal to 3 so we have two points x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3 where the function is discontinuous i hope that you can solve any type of any um, and discontinuity problems of this type. Thank you very much.